when your affirmations aren't working. If you have created some affirmations that you really, really want to manifest and they don't seem to be manifesting for you, this video might help you understand why. So creating affirmations, you're telling the universe, this is what I want, this is what I want to have. But here's the thing, most people don't concentrate on what they want, they concentrate on what they don't want. And here's an example of that. So when you're creating your affirmations and you put them out there, even if you read them day in and day out, you're frustrated that they're not coming to fruition. You're frustrated at how long it's taking your affirmation to come true. And when that happens, what you're doing is you're concentrating on what you don't want. You're putting it out there to the universe. You know, your thoughts are constantly about why isn't this happening yet? Why is this taking so long? Uh, what am I doing wrong? Whatever your negative fear-based thoughts are, are the very reason that you are actually repelling your affirmations. You're keeping them from coming to you. You're resisting your good, the good that you want to come into your life. Because this is what happens, right? You talk about your affirmations affirmations, you post it on social media, you let people know, you're very excited about it, but then secretly you're talking to your friends, your family, anyone that will listen and you're saying, oh my gosh, I've been working on this for so long. Why isn't it coming true? I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. I, I, I feel like I should give up. Should I give up? I'm not sure. Maybe I need to get better at this. Maybe I need to take another class. Maybe I need to... Um, dress differently, whatever it is that you're concentrating on, your thoughts are all about negativity. And your negative thoughts are fueling your levels of self. Self-image, self-confidence, self-esteem, self-love, self-worth. So when your levels of self are low, you're naturally going to concentrate on what's not happening. And all you start to think about is what you don't want. I don't want to be stuck here. I don't want to have to deal with this again. Why is this happening? Why, 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 why? And you keep that, um, that consistent thought process of why things aren't coming to you. So when you look at your affirmations, what you're really doing is you're looking at them and saying, yeah, right. You might be reading them off, but your energy is saying, no go. Remember, it's your energy that brings forth what you truly want, not what you're saying. Now, of course, your thoughts create your words, your words create your actions, but if your actions aren't in a positive vibration, if your thoughts are, this is never going to happen, um, you know, for instance, if you're saying, I believe, I believe, I believe. I, I keep being told that if I just keep saying this over and over, it's gonna happen, it's gonna come true. So I'm going to keep saying it over and over and over. But what you really want is to get to a place where you believe it, where you feel it, like right here in your heart chakra or right here in your solar plexus chakra. I mean, you know that you feel it. So think about in your heart chakra or your solar plexus chakra, when you've been really afraid of something, when fear is really overtaking you and you feel it really strongly in your heart chakra area or your solar plexus area and you are so afraid to move anywhere and you just think, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Well, you can create that energy with positive excitement, love, high self-confidence, high self-love, high self-image. You can be walking around saying, man, I am all that in a box of chocolates. That's the energy level that you want to read your affirmations from. That's where you want to be. So the question is, how much thought are you putting into what you don't have? Most people are trained to think about what they don't want and then when the, what they don't want shows up in their life, what do we do? We go around and we tell our friends, oh, this happened to me, oh, that happened to me. When is this ever going to end? And then we're looking for friends to commiserate with us. And 
when they don't commiserate with us, we actually get angry with them. And we say, then we say to ourselves, oh my gosh, my friends aren't even understanding or my spouse isn't even understanding. Nobody understands me. Why is this happening? See, we create our own reality based on the thoughts that we're thinking. So if our thoughts are fear-based and low energy level thoughts, we are going to attract the same thing into our life. So if you are one to, to write affirmations and to have affirmations and you say your affirmations, here's what you can do if they're not coming to fruition. Because if they're not coming to fruition, that tells you that on, you have a belief on some level that you don't believe it's going to happen. So when you can tap into that belief and ask yourself, what are the feelings and emotions I have around that belief? What do I keep manifesting over and over and over inside me that is keeping me from what I say I truly, truly want? And then pay attention to your self-talk. What are you telling yourself? Are you telling yourself, this is never going to happen. I've done this for six months now and I see nothing happening. What is your self-talk? What are you telling yourself? And then what are you telling others? Because I hear a lot of people say, oh, I'm a really positive person. I'm a very glass half full person. I believe that good things happen. And yet when I listen to their mode of speech and the words that they choose, everything is negative. The good news is it's all changeable. You can change it at any given moment. But in order to do that, you'll want to pay attention to your words. You really, really want to pay attention to what you're saying. Maybe have a uh, recording when you talk to someone on the phone or when you're really upset about something and you go to call someone, pay attention to what you're saying to them. Are you leading with all of the things that you think are going wrong? All of the things that happen to you that you don't want to happen to you? And that's the conversation. That's what the conversation is full of. When that happens, you're actually, it's like you're emitting this sonar and you just keep putting it out there and that's what you're drawing back to you. So when you are ready to raise your levels of self, when if you'd like help having stronger affirmations, more positive affirmations and raising your levels of self, go to masteringyourbeliefs.com because there's something there for every level that you're at, every level. If you'll take the time to look around and find out, oh, yeah, this calls to me or not so interested in that. And maybe what you really needed was to hear this message today. Maybe this video will do it for you. Maybe this video is what will awaken you to how you've been thinking and speaking and why your affirmations are kind of lukewarm for you. So if you have any questions, remember, ask your sensei. In the meantime, this is Nancy Muller saying ciao for now.